Now we're going to take a look at how to use Langchain to actually parse some of this data that comes back from the queries that you submit to it. So you can ask the large language model all sorts of things. You could ask it for the capitals of all 50 US states and it's going to return this to you in some sort of a form. You can tell it, do you want this as a CSV? Do you want this as JSON? And different models are certainly better at different data formats. We're gonna see that Langchain has a bunch of utilities built into it to help you parse this data out because the data coming back from the large language model is really going to be just a bunch of unstructured text and you're going to need to parse it just like you would any other text. So the examples here make use of OpenAI. You can use other models certainly but you'll see the OpenAI API key here. I get that from an environmental variable or from a secret if you are using Google Colab Pro. The little key here lets you define what the actual value of OpenAI key is. Okay, that installs everything that we need. There is an entire sort of expression um, value or, or language that you can use, the Langchain expression language. This has first class streaming support, so if you're streaming your results back, it can also be done asynchronous and it's optimized for parallel execution. And we will see how this is made use of as we go through these parsers that are all built for Langchain use. Here I am creating what's called a response schema. This is basically says that we are going to expect something called answer. And that is an answer to the user's question. And then we also may want a source a citation. So where did this information actually come from? And then we can get the structured output parser and get the response right from it. So here I am then setting up the prompt template, telling it the instructions, which are answer the question as best as possible. Format instructions get put right in here. This is this will be added later by Langchain and that specifies if you want it as JSON, I mean how, how you want it formatted. And then I'm going to actually hit it with some questions. So I'm going to say, when was the Python programming language introduced? And it gives me the answer. But before it gives me the answer, let's, let's dissect this prompt. So we're going to take this question and we're going to see here that it fills in all of that information that we had before. So it's telling me that the output should be formatted as a markdown snippet, including leading and trailing, JSON and it gives us the JSON format that we expect the output to be in which is going to be answer string and source string. So this is this is telling Langchain really what we expect the output from this question to actually be in the format. And now we're going to go ahead and use GPT-40 if you're using a different model if it's a model supported by OpenAI you just change the string here. But if you want to use something outside of OpenAI, then you'll probably replace this chat OpenAI with something else. And then you can see we build the chain. The chain. We have the prompt, which is what we saw earlier, then that goes into the LLM, and then we have an output parser. And the output parser is what breaks apart that JSON that it's going to give us. And then you can see when we run the chain and we ask it, when was the Python language introduced? It tells us Python programming language was introduced in 1991. And then the source of this is Wikipedia. And there you can see not just Wikipedia, but the Python and Python, the programming language, not the snake, is the source of this information. I also give it another one that I, I kind of made up here. So I am telling it multiple schemas that it might detect. And I am telling it to detect the input language and then translate it to multiple languages. 
So detected is going to be what we detected the language that the user used to be. And then we're going to give Spanish, French, and Chinese translations of it. You can see that we are giving it the instructions for translate into the requested languages. And it should also detect the language. It uses a typical sort of a chain that we have here. And then I am going to, I'm going to give it, when was the Python programming language invoked or uh, introduced? And it detects that that sentence that I gave it was in English. And then it gives it to me in all these other languages that I asked for. Then I give it something in not too common of a language, I guess, for technology, but it is Swahili, and I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. And it takes that and it translates it into the requested languages. Okay, thank you for watching this video. This shows you how you can start to parse some of the data that comes back from the large language models using Langchain. If this video is helpful, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of my other AI-related projects.